Chris and Valerie. Hey! I am finally meeting up with my artist from Greensboro, North Carolina, and now I'm putting on a sold out motherfucking show. Make some noise! Yes! I feel like I can go outside for a quick chat and some fresh breath air. This is what's going on. We're just trying to figure out, like, you know. Ted Lee's situation with his little boo. I don't know if you've seen the story. I'm I'm a good friend of Londy. I feel like y'all got something going on, but may, I may be wrong, you know? You are wrong. Okay. Oh, but I also heard that you was divorced too, friend. The divorce has been final as of last month. It all I just know is that the bearded man was ended up in the bed with my friend. Yeah, oh. I, I, and I know that too. I'm allowed to post who I want to post. I mean, that's my business. It doesn't necessarily mean I have anything going on with them romantically, right? Yeah. It's goddamn 11 o'clock, and I just came to show my support. Uh oh, no, 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 you should leave. They have a little shady song for you, Rob. Mm. That's a lie, fam. A little birdie oh, told me they got on Tom's in I freezing do. weather. I yeah. said at the last place that we was gonna be cool yeah. and I was gonna say something about the crackling yeah. on the top yeah. of your head. What else is next? You damn bully. Yeah, your safety pin is showing. You trying to be shady! <laughs> Guess I'm not a fashion blogger. My safety pin is showing. It's a birdie fight. Oh, no. I said it was a good song about me. Well, that's what we thought. Say what you know and not what you well, think. I'm being aggressive, yes, but you being aggressive with these lies. You wanna make fairy tales and storylines and shit because of last season. You didn't give much. It just seems like he's reaching for a storyline. If I would have did what I wanted to do, nobody's gonna stop me. And when I grab one, I'm gonna grab all of y'all. Trey been moving shysty. Trey been doing some fake shit. We all know what goes around in this group and it's a large group. But my thing is like, can y'all be respectful or like, Everybody is bored, cause y'all starting to pick out the smallest shit to start something over and to have a big commotion. I don't want to make it seem like we have any issues going on. I get it, this group that we have, none of y'all are originally from Dallas. This is my home. I really am Dallas, Texas, fam. Let me wake you the fuck up, nigga. The city is mine, fam. <laughs> like, real nigga shit. Ask about me, Robert Ray. She came down here to support us. Balls are cool, but what are y'all doing outside of the balls? That, that's what it is. In my house, the house of gorgeous Gucci, we 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 stand ten toes down on that. We 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 bun, and that's why I love us. Like we 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 vibing. With the each category they give you a theme and this particular theme was in regards to the violence that comes with police brutality and things like that so i chose to put on our board stop killing us because that's all we want is to stop killing us and i honestly yes it's about police brutality and things like that but us in the community we're killing each other so for us in the hood and in our communities as well stop killing each other y'all like real talk Stop doing that, fam. So, you ready for tonight? Yeah, yeah. I know, right? We're gonna eat that, Zoo. We eat that, Daya. I walk thug realness, and it's for $1,000. And me and my brother Tony, we like dominate the category. You know, we dominate realness, like, especially in the Gulf Coast. Like, so we getting ready for the ball, because we finna go shit, claim our prize. <laughs> and that's what we do best. Real nigga shit. So you know I did a show at the uh, Liquid Zoo the other night. 
Um, it was pretty cool. We had fun. Um, Kiki, Sean, and Terry surprised me up there. Other than that, you know, we got the um, Christmas party coming up. People, you know, it's gonna be at the house. It's gonna be more personal. Like we're gonna do the pajama party. We're gonna do the elephant uh, game or whatever. So, you know, the adults can get some too and then we can still bless the kids in the process. I invited the whole cast. Um, yeah, I invited the whole cast, so we'll see how they go. Whole cast, all of them, even the ones that, yeah, they know. all of them. We invite all of them. Invite ops. Ah, you know. Speaking of ops, do want to have a conversation? Want to talk? Uh, clear some stuff up. You want to, you know, let us let me know um, that now they're not uh, talking or together or trying to talk and all that. I still the same thing, to be honest, fake as fuck. Now, everybody else was talking about it. It was like, oh, they together, they this. But time we said something, now all of a sudden, they not talking and shit. But, touche, they went in that need to hear another day. I'm going to sit down and hear that nigga out. See, what this is my second conversation with this thing. Enough. The first conversation I had with him at my event party for not supporting and shit like that and being like we bros, but you know what I'm saying? But you ain't really supporting. So he switched it up and then tried to start supporting, but then he put in shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, you can't win for losing. Like, what the fuck, fam? I was telling my bro, Tony, that she, I was gonna go sit down and talk to Dior because he wanted to chop it up with me. And yeah, I want to chop it up with him too because she, that's my big brother. And I don't want to be beefing with him over no shit that I really don't give a fuck about. It was just more so of a principle. So let's get us an understanding so we can move past this shit. Tony feel like shit, I'm a ride for you because we got this brotherhood. So if I'm a ride for you, you should ride for me and respect the fact that shit, you shouldn't be fucking with or talking to or whatever with my ex. It's like, we got a brotherhood, fam. Like, don't break the code. Like, that's all it is. Like, I don't give a fuck about who you fucking with, but just don't break the code. Don't bring all that negativity into our mix. And that's just that. And then, Trey is, I told you, did I tell you I was still beat up uh, Ted Lee? Even though he still surprised me. Sean, even though he did surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> now this was before they surprised me, fam. Because they was letting Trey hype them up. I've been wanting to slap the fuck out of him, bro. But I've been feeling, yeah, man. But I've been feeling like, you know, I fuck with him. It's that's how I feel about Dior. In reference to you, he shouldn't have really like even let that narrative go on off the respect, the mutual respect. I got a mutual respect for him. That's the only reason I ain't really slap Trey. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like that's Dior child and that's my brother. I should have slapped the dog shit. I want. I told him. I told all the heads that I wanted to grab all three of their head and just slam it together. Niggas being faked in a bitch, bro. This nigga gonna pull me outside and tell me that Kesey made a diss track about me. Now we knew damn well. Talking about a little birdie. A little birdie said this. A little birdie said that. Well, I had to remind the ass that this little birdie fight. Trey started a lot of other shit this year. Like, I'm sitting back and seeing like shit. Y'all seen what I already knew, fam. I seen that shit from the jump. However, we'll see how this shit go at the event. They all will be here. Everybody will be here. Um, ain't nobody on no beef shit. Trey, I invited oh, Trey and his boyfriend. Is they good as fuck? Oh, you know that. And then we, uh, Deal. I'm gonna have a conversation with him. I'm gonna see how the conversation go. Overall, you know, me and Tony, we we talk, we chop it up. She he ain't scared to tell a nigga when I'm right, when I'm wrong, or, or whatever. That nigga gonna tell me like, nah, nigga, that ain't what's up. Where we come from, me and Tony, our hands is our language. So I do got love for Dior, and I feel like a conversation can be had and we growing as men, me, Tony, and Dior, we all growing. Let's learn to talk with our mouth and, and move forward from that. So yeah, let's go. All right, babe. Speed it up, 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 speed it up. Go faster, ay, go faster, ay, go faster, ay, go faster, ay. So today, I decided to do something a little different and have me a fucking photo shoot. I haven't taken a photo shoot before. I invited Dior and I invited Landy. You know, I needed somebody that would make me feel comfortable while I'm there. Dior bought some clothes for me to put on. Hopefully this is a success. I definitely want the pictures to turn out good. And I don't want to be stiff as a board like I normally am. I'm a little nervous, you know, it's my first photo shoot, but is it? Yeah, I ain't never had no photo shoot before. 
I be scared though, cause like I feel like I'm not a camera guy. I mean, I take my selfies, of course. I, I do my little pictures of my body and shit like that. But I think I'm gonna look a little awkward, so that's why. That's why I needed you here. So. I got you. Modeling for Crave Magazine and just different photographers in the city. I feel like I got a good grasp to help Kesey in this photo shoot. He says it's his first time, and I feel like I got the skills to help him with that. So. I got a question for you too. All right. Um, I think it was the night of um, Astro's, uh, well, his meet and greet where we met as artists that night. Uh, Jeff, Jet, he came to me and he was like, he think you and Tedley got a little something going on. I'm like, no, they both in a relationship type shit. So like, we just cool. That's just my right. homie. And I feel like because I'm close to him, and I'm getting to know other people, right. and I don't really know them like that, so they feel like we got something going on, and then, you know, if they try you, I'm there for you, what's up? Because he's not a fighter. So, he was literally in the corner when that situation happened, like... No! 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 So I was just like, that's a perfect example of what I was saying, like, I feel like everybody trying to make that something, and it's nothing. Kesey tells me that Jet Jeff is the one that is carrying his bone around saying that me and Tedley are talking. I don't appreciate that. Especially when I'm not blasting him when he was in my inbox a few years ago. That's how I feel about me and Dior's situation. I don't know if you heard about that either. I did, because that, yeah. that was the talk before y'all got there. Exactly, and it's like, damn, can we just work? Shit, can right. we just be cool? Like, that, yeah. that's it. Like, I feel like people are dragging it and... Let the shit go, like y'all, and y'all gonna see that me and Dior, like we work, like, and I'm ready to see like everything that he's gonna do for me because I've never had anybody that's helped me this much with my music career. Like I don't care about what everybody else talking about. We gonna be together because we gonna work together, and it, it is what it is. Like if you don't like it, oh well. It is fucking very annoying how much me and Dior has been a topic around this group of people like we just really chilling we he's managing me he's helping me with my wardrobe shows and shit like that so to hear that y'all are still trying to put us together as a couple is really fucking irritating just leave me alone please <laughs> right for real one yeah slide on a real one on my mama and god you the real thing can't even cap to me now you feel something today i am the manager but i'm also the stylist we want to make sure that everything is looking good looking nice making sure everything is fitting right and hope today goes well i got you going oh i can't even help it open it up yeah open it up yeah you want santa are you santa so I see Kesey doing this thing, he trying to get into his groove. So I stepped in to try to help him and um, he was very receptive. And I felt like I was getting pushed out the way because his man, a jur, was there and he was basically being the creative director. He was helping him with the, the poses. I even said, Kesey just kind of like dance. And he was like, Kesey can't dance. And I was like, yes, he could. Um, he always be dancing. And then he was just like, no, he can't. That's the problem that we have now. And I was like, but okay. So how you feel? I feel good. It was different. Uh, how y'all think I did? You did good. You did really good. And I had y'all here to help me. So okay. I got the answer from this one. The answer? Yeah. That, y'all not talking. I need it from you. I asked the horses. That who? That who not talking? <laughs> you want him? No, this is my this is I my know, artist. This guy was, no. I'm, he told me. Yeah, I, I understand why you're asking though. I understand why you're asking, but not this again. It's like every day, every time I see anybody, it's always this question about me and Casey. Keep in mind, I've already told Londy this at Astro's birthday party, but since he wants to be reassured and realightened, I'm telling him once again what the answer always has been is, no, we don't talk. We just cool friends. I need to ask Dio this question just to make sure I'm not tripping. Pray is your son? Yes. I didn't know. So lately, I know we were just talking about like the show that I didn't go to, but and Robert or whatever they got going on. Astro show. Yes. Okay. Astro show. So I feel I didn't I wasn't able to make it. So when I went to Jet Jeff's uh photo shoot and not photo video shoot, shoot. video yeah, shoot, yeah. I felt like giving him a lot of attention. 
or a separation or whatever was going on. Wait, with, hold on. But I want to say me and him directly. You and Trey. Direct. You and Trey. Okay. Yes. So when I walked in, I had on shades. Mm -hmm. So the room was dark. I walked to the right where everybody directed me to go and had a conversation, came back over, tried to speak to everybody. Trey was like this. And it was like closed off. And I was confused because me and him don't have issues. And I don't know if, am I doing something? Is there a team Robert, team Trey? And the only reason I say that too is because in the group message, it was a Sunday fun day. He, he said something about being out. I said I was out. I posted a picture of me and my friend who was in town. Come to find out they had a disagreement or whatever it was. Oh, Dennis. Oh, I remember yeah. that. But my thing is, when he came at me like that, I'm like, damn, me and you don't, we don't talk to each other like that, or we don't have that type of, right. so why are you coming at me like that? If, if, if y'all don't get along, y'all don't get along with that. Me and him don't discuss you. As far as Trey and Lund D go, I've never, I guess, noticed any tension or any bad energy amongst the two. I don't know, because Trey is really shady. So if Trey had a problem with you, I feel like he would post something in the group chat or whatever, kind of throw another shade. The, the thing was, what triggered me was, get the fuck out of here. And who you talking to? I'm telling you, a lot of this stuff, I really don't know about. Like, I'm, a lot of this is wrong. <laughs> I can't go. But me, because I'm, I don't not, know I'm not in it. So yeah, I'm so. trying to figure it out. Yeah. I don't like being in that space with nobody. It's right. either, we own that shit or we not on that shit. Yeah. If we own it, I'm gonna be on it with you. If right. we not, we not. Yeah. This year I chose to stay out of the drama, stay out the way, out of the arguments, out of the fights, out of everything because I feel like I have so much more to lose and plus I'm a role model to a lot of these young kids around me. So my main focus is here is just basically keep myself in my own business. I mean just just talk, just talk to him, him. Yeah, yeah. next time you see him. But I don't know why, I just want everybody to stop. Well, because oh, that's your child, saying, that's yeah. your child, yeah. Look, personal endeavors, I'm here to lead you in the right way. That's you come and say, hey, stop saying social yeah, but you finna fight some No, we ain't fighting, we ain't doing nothing. <laughs> well, I'm finna give me something to eat. Me too. Y'all be safe. Yeah, I'll be like safe, I'll say see you later. See you later. All right, see y'all later. Coming up on Chasing Dallas. It's my life, you don't pay my bills, so I do what I want to do and post what I want to post. Okay. Hello, friend. Hello. Hello. But it's not someone directly that you're talking to, like on a personal level? Jed, last time we discussed some things, you were trying to figure out if your man was the only fan and what he's selling. But look, hey, okay. of course, look, it's look not up. really. You spoke up the devil. I, ain't like so no, I didn't know Line D was coming. I ain't been a part of this shit. I want no parts. Hey guys, it's me, Bobby Bankrose, and I would like for you to get my new single, Baddies, available on all streaming music platforms. Baddie. Available now. So, Styles by Howard, it's premiering tonight, and I just wanted to have a small get together with all my friends, all of my supporters. The Trillion Squid is here, okay, and all my closest friends. And I invited some of the group. So who's our who's company? Oh, uh, some of my friends from high school, like a lot of my friends from high school, and from the group, you, Dior, Sean, and, um, Tedley. Okay, the top tier girl. The top tier <laughs> people, you know, the people I actually care about. So I'm very excited for my friend Trey's premiere party for his new brand new show, Styles by Howard. I'm really excited, like I really like Trey. I'm here to support him 100%. Hopefully everyone else that he invited can do the same. So I'm excited. Not everyone was invited. <laughs> Not everyone was invited, only because it was an intimate kind of setting. And then, you know, I just want people to show real love and not kind of like say stuff and then talk behind my back later right. when I'm not there. So Ooh. I invited people here that I know will say it to my face regardless. <laughs> now, what do you think would have said that? Chad, you know, it's another group around there. <laughs> so you didn't invite Astro? 
I didn't invite Astro only oh, because I just, I don't know. I like Astro, I do like Astro, but when I think about everybody, I'm like, yeah. maybe not. Oh, hey, Kayla. Hi, baby. Oh, look at you. You know, I started thinking um, while we were at the Kiki Ball and my trailer actually premiered, it just seemed like some people were just like not supportive, you know, as much as I, you know, wanted them to be, you know, it's perception. And so I just didn't invite a lot of the people from the group. So I just only invited the people that really reached out to me and continued to watch and continue to support, you know, through the trailer and the promo. Hey, Sean, how are you? Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a minute. I know, right? So it's just us for right now and Trey and James. Um, okay. so just a few of the girls, the top tier girls coming. You know, not, uh, every, okay. not everybody coming, but so you is? Oof, she wore it out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So today I have been invited to go to Trey Howard's premiere party for his show. I didn't even know he had a show coming out. I'm so excited for him and I am proud of all of his endeavors. So who are all coming tonight? Right into the face. Oh, that's my question. Jen, you, Tedley, and uh, Dior. And that's it? Yeah, that's all I, that's all I invited. I'm telling Jen, I wanted people here to like support me, love me, like don't talk behind my back, you know. So who you feel like, man, talking about behind your back? Well, all I know is when I went to the, um, your event, your uh, video, 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 yeah, I spoke to everybody, everybody didn't speak to me, so I'm talking about... That's what I was confused about. Uh, what's his name? Shoot. Londy. Nah, yeah, Londy. I'm not being shady, but... Londy? Londy, he didn't speak. Oh. He didn't speak. He didn't speak. Yeah. And I was confused. I was like, nah, I've never had any problems with Londy unless he had probably talked to... Robert and Robert start this campaign. Yeah. That's somebody in his ear, right? Yeah, so probably somebody in his ear, so I'm like, who could it be? But I don't really care because, you know, he ain't putting no money in my pocket. He always insert, insert himself in stuff anyway. Honestly, I understood where Trey was coming from by not inviting everyone. Because let's be honest, with this group, you don't know who was gonna show up, who was gonna retract their invitation, or who was just gonna simply be rude and show up super late. That should be, that should be exciting, interesting. So I'm gonna introduce you to all my friends. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Give me blood. You've been drinking already. So today Trey is having his premiere party for Styles by Howard. I am definitely going to be supporting him tonight. I was just talking about the group and um actually he was doing stuff. Okay. Are you going? Oh, you're not gonna be at the event this weekend, right? No, I'm gonna town this weekend. Oh. Yeah, so oh, it's two for two. It's like my friend's not gonna be here for the event and they gonna just eat me up. It's my birthday weekend, so. I know. Oh, okay, so since you're here, you are, um, Londy's your friend. Uh huh. So, uh, Jet's, um, event, mm -hmm. he didn't speak to me. Was there a reason? He didn't speak to me. I didn't speak. And we walked him past each other about five or six times. I don't think that it's on his end because he's, really? he's not a conversational person. I don't think so. That's why I'm like, I hope everything is okay because, like I said, we don't talk or we don't have any type of relationship. I was telling him I feel like he interjects a lot mm -hmm. in people's business, but no. I, think that's just, I think that's just the group dynamic. We all interject and try to figure out what's going on. But right. like I said, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I hope we don't have an issue because. I like Lindy. So here's the thing. I think Trey is very sensitive at times, but he's also not cautious of how he interjects himself in everybody else's business. But I do feel like him and Lindy need to sit down and talk things out because he thinks Lindy has an issue with him at this point. I don't. I think you should reach out to him personally. And ask I don't him think it's an issue. Yeah. Right. I don't think it is. But if you think it is, but I, I, I do feel like it was a tight and close place. Like he had. He could have said I. No, I know I didn't speak to Robert. I didn't notice. I didn't yeah. notice. I didn't speak to Robert. I was right by Robert. I didn't speak one bit for Robert. So that I that like, I would have figured, but I wouldn't have. I figured. feel like with Robert, it has to be something deeper on his part because I am totally fine. I don't have any animosity with Robert. He be trying to just make a mountain out of a molehill. It's like something so simple. I just feel like he's looking, searching for a fairy tale storyline. <laughs> Because I know what I'm saying can't carry him through this whole season this time. But, I just but, think that we all was I just think, inebriated that yeah, night I, I or high. Really I, I think he just went. He made there. an effort to fix it with you, but he didn't fix it with his, his, his nephew. I think that you being his nephew, I think he's very protective over you, and he probably feels like certain things that you may do disappoints him or frustrates him. 
So I think that's what a rift is. I feel like we all 20 plus. So if there are things right. with that I have done, have a conversation. The first word I hit about, Hey, but when you brought up the but, did you say, oh, Robert, it's a list about you? Did you say that? I said, I said, Robert, I don't know, correct, correct me if I'm wrong. I was like, it's a dick, they doing dick, so I said, and I, I said, well, PC may be doing it to somebody, and I was like, well, maybe Robert, and then I said, Jeff could be to you, mm -hmm. and then I basically was pinning everybody against everybody who would had a problem, so right. that's why I felt. So when it came out that, KC was referencing Dre. I was like, well, wait, KC had a problem with Robert? During around that time, KC was like, you know, who, if I'm dating somebody or talking to somebody, it's no one else's business. So oh, okay. that's why I felt like um, it was against Robert. Yeah. But, hey, I made a mistake. My <laughs> tomato, tomato, okay? But that's the man's fault. She had too much to drink. Man, look. <laughs> look, we were drinking them cheap drinks. drinks. We were drinking them cheap drinks from the store. Oh, yeah, we did about so the store. What they saw is it. what they had got that night. I want to put it to bed so we can have fun in Houston because I want to go to Houston with Anna that's my hometown, so and don't, don't act a fool. Yeah, yeah we have a fool in my hometown now. Do you have a boo thing in Houston? Oh, look. Yeah. 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 That's got a whole different area of color. I'm not trying to play with none of y'all. Do Tedley have a lot of men? Maybe. Do Tedley poses as if he have a lot of men? Maybe. No, I just, you know, I, I, you can have friends who are attractive and who are males without right. having no, no strings attached. The minute I post a guy that's attractive that nobody else knows personally, they think it's something more than what it is. And I don't know nobody. Are you the beer man? Yeah, well, what's oh. So other than that, like, I don't owe anybody an explanation at the end of the day. It's my life, you don't pay my bills, so I do what I want to do and post who I want to post. Okay. okay. No friend, hello. But it's not someone directly that you're talking to, like, on a personal level? Like, yeah, you talking to the beer? No, because I thought you I like the best relationship advice I would get from you. Yeah. Like, I don't oh, know, I want to know. You always can get that from me regardless. Okay. Okay, whether okay. I'm with somebody or not. But yeah. what I will say is, yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah, very um happy. at the end of the day, what you have to be happy with yourself first. Yeah. You just always know That's that. true. Once again, there's some meddling about who I'm dating, what's going on in my love life. Jed, last time we discussed some things, you were trying to figure out if your man was the only fan of what he's selling. But look, mind your business. <laughs> Today is the premiere party for Trey Howard, so I'm, you know, get on my pajamas and I'm headed on over here to see how this goes. Okay, you guys, round of applause for Styles Got Howard. Woo! It was such a hard process. We've been started filming in March, so to see it all come together now is really, um, really fun. I'm excited for Haley, uh, my cousin, um, James, that they all were a part of it. I just really appreciate the hard work that everybody put in. I hope y'all enjoy the um, episodes and um, I hope this just catapults me into another part of my career where I can do better and <laughs> be better people. <laughs> <laughs> we are seconds away from Styles by Howard. Okay, lower the lights. Okay, turn off cell phones on vibrate. The show is now on. I loved the premiere party. I loved the premiere. I didn't expect everyone to tell me congratulations. I was just thinking that, you know, we're on the same platform. It would be, you know, cool that they, you know, reach out and congratulate me. But I don't expect anything. So I'm really appreciative to the franchise for thinking of the kid. I am now the second person to have a spinoff on the franchise. And it just feels good to, you know, see the appreciation from everyone. Woo! Okay, y'all. That was a good episode, you know. It was really, really good. Yay! I was, I was so nervous. I said, what you? I was so nervous about it, but I'm glad everything went through. And, like, I'm glad y'all came. I know I didn't invite the whole group, but I definitely want to invite you guys because I know yet y'all support me. Y'all been talking to me about the show, making sure that I'm good, especially you, Dior. Just making sure that I was okay when the show aired and everything was good. So hopefully nobody feel any shade for me not inviting them. I but I think you made the right decision just looking at the show and looking in the chat. 
if they really wanted to be here or really wanted to support you, they knew when your show was premiering. Right. right. They could have been. They could have shown support without not being here, and I didn't see none of them. So, right. I didn't see nobody so in the chat. Actually, oh. made the right decision. You made the right decision. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah. they knew when the show was premiering, yeah. so they could have supported no, not if they. One. Now, well, one. I don't think just because someone were not in the chat, they don't support you. Mm -hmm. I just think that maybe they had other things going on. Yeah. And. But I still think others may be supporting you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even see no congratulations. Nah, I'm a Hollywood. <laughs> I ain't even see no congratulations from both of them. I didn't see no. I'm proud of you, Trey. You going And I was like, I, I expected so, that. I expected so that I, because I, a lot I of. To deal with I, song. That was all I expected that because I know that a lot of people had things going on, but I did expect a. Thank you or congratulations. They did that, but when they seen the trailer, but you know, just still sending their well so wishes. Did they get any text <laughs> my phone been dry. Uh, Switching gears, my bad. Are y'all all going to Robert TV? I know you said you wasn't going. You wasn't going. Are you going to your please? Yeah. Somebody say yeah. help me. I'm going. <laughs> well, I do need to tell you something. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't rain on my parade. No. no, it's not like that. It was just uh, the other day we did a photo shoot with Kixi for his album. Who is we? Uh, Lon D came. And did not tell you. Did not tell you, friend. Go ahead. And he just feels like you may have a problem with him or something. Okay, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Dior spilling the beans or being the bone collector and telling me what Londi said about me. I was like, oh, okay, I knew it was something. It had to be, you know, something brewing. So tell me more. Uh, okay. <laughs> so he addressed to me earlier tonight that he thought Londi had an issue with him. So what it sounds like is the miscommunication. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it all stemmed from the group chat. When he posted Dennis and you had said something, but you had like basically like cussed well, at him and he felt some type of way about it. I don't fuck with Dennis. So when he posted, him, I was like, oh, so he must be coming to the event. Mm -hmm. And then when he was like, no, he I just posted him because you know it was just for me it was a coincidence. But he then cleared it up and said that he wasn't you know coming. He had no issue with him. So I was like, oh, let's be let's just did it because at the end of the day, I don't have a problem with you. Mm -hmm. It's Dennis, but I don't want to like couple the two up. Just but like well, you after that, <laughs> oh Lord, after that. It's and, Lord. The, at the video shoot, you didn't speak to him. Oh my God. Okay, so, so let's, let's um, I told him that I was just gonna let y'all talk about it, but yeah. I mean, okay, we all classy, right? you in. we all know manners. When you walk into a room, you speak, you speak right? First. You speak yeah. first. I was already in the room. Mm -hmm. He came in. Uh -oh. Yeah. The situation with the guy that is supposedly, you know, the ruckus is about, his, his, his energy wasn't off. I hosted an event last year um, with Tennis and Tequilas. He came with Eric James acting a big ass fool. You don't have the authority to okay, I'm put no shit in my face. You don't have the authority to put no shit in my face. I don't know where you at with this tennis racket. This is what it's like I'm chasing that. It's bullshit. Don't, 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 Bye, Eric. So I just felt like it was more of like, I want to be on the show. I want to be on the show. I want to be on the show. Let me act an ass. I just want to clear it up with him because there's no need yeah. for no animosity. I just for don't no need to talk. Exactly. Yeah. And I know, not everyone in this group, I know Londi very well. Right, right, right. Yeah. Way back. Well, maybe you can come and facilitate and, and just kind of like be there. Uh, yeah. 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 But wait, it won't even need that though. Not if it's nothing, it shouldn't even well, need to be there. Well, should I pull him to the side? Yeah. It's not, it's, if it's nothing. Him to the side, he'll yeah. do it very well. Tell him what Yeah, if it's nothing, you aren't going to need nobody there. Just talk it out. Okay, well, if he's that, um, Evolved. I'll put him to the side. Yeah. And <laughs> I just really want. I just really want everybody to stop coming to me about Trey all the time. That's I don't know why they come to you about me. I'm like, a man. Damn. I feel like they trying to link us together, but we are literally doing our own thing. Yeah. We just we are like connected it. by the family. So I guess he we'll grown, got a family. Well, for the kids, we'll see how the for the kids go. Well, please, y'all, please. <laughs> if not, we'll we'll book a session with you to see and figure out how to. Uh, I should be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bringing Bibles and all. Please, but thank y'all for coming out. Yeah, appreciate y'all. I got an hour drive home. Thank y'all. I'm so sorry. Thank y'all so much. I love you guys. Thank y'all. Okay, Trey, we are about to start. All right. So where should I begin? <laughs> What's up, world? I am, once again, Trey Howard, a.k.a. Styles by Howard, but let's get a little personal. in 
the rain. You got oh, oh my gosh, I'm so, so sorry. I'm waiting on them. Go ahead and clear the table and yeah. everything, and then we're gonna do a wine tasting. Just look at the venue. So I am about to launch my first ever fashion vlog. I'm so excited. I have been putting hard work, blood, sweat, and fashion heels into this project, and I'm just waiting to launch it. I'm looking at venues right now, and I just can't wait to share this with everyone. It's like my welcome into Dallas. So this is for your Launch party. Yeah, for my launch party. Yeah. Okay. Excited. Yeah. Are you, is everybody invited? Yeah, so far everybody invited. Okay, it's gonna be good. Yeah. That's good. Well, you got a theme because you know we love a theme here. Um, cause since it's House of the Lord and it's gonna be on a Sunday, so okay. I'm thinking everybody wear like a Sunday best, but come as you are. Yeah. Oh, okay. We love a Sunday best. Okay. Yeah, I'm so. like a little suit or something. Yeah. I I'm excited. You. I'm thank you for inviting me. You know, it's been a long week. Yeah. This was your. Lunch week, I yeah, know, so everything. I know, so I you know you're coming. still on the high. But I did invite Landy here as well because you know he is an event planner. <laughs> you're right. And I wanted him okay, to okay. see the event as well. Right. And I want to get his perspective on some fans because I know he's really good at it. So I didn't know Landy was coming. Keyshawn, thank you for inviting him. Someone I had an issue with, and you just brought him for me to convert, have a conversation with. So it just seems like everybody is bringing people and just to have conversations. Good job, team. I know y'all got a little scuffle, so I don't even. I don't know what it is. This. I don't know what it is. But yeah, like you said, hopefully we can get past yeah. that. Cause it's, it shouldn't be much anyway. Nah, nah. It, it can't be much. Cause right. I don't. I'm not beefing with nobody. And we ain't right gonna now. let it be much. Yeah, it can't, it can't be much. Okay, <laughs> we ain't gonna let it be much. Okay, well, right, when he yeah. get here, hopefully he'll have, you know, things to say or whatever. Yeah, let's just have a little conversation about it. Keyshawn invites me to come see a potential venue for his lunch party. I was really excited that he did that, you know. I felt like he came to me because of CLB, seen some of the work that I did, and he thought it'd be a good idea. So, let's see what this is gonna be about. Hey, okay. It's look, look not up. really. Smoke up the devil. Hey, let's see. What's up? What's up? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for inviting me. I didn't know Londy was coming. I didn't know. So. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that you both of y'all was going to be here. So that's why I let y'all know individually versus okay. together. Because okay. I, I don't know where, like, y'all had, like, a miscommunication. Because I don't think it's no beef or anything. I don't. I don't know. Um, I feel like you have more to say than I do Probably. about the situation. Probably. Okay. Um, only because I don't know. Even before actually meeting you in person, okay. we knew of each other. We kind of like spoke to each other, um, but we really didn't see, run into each other. It was more so on social media we would speak right. and talk because we had an affiliation. Right. So I was just thinking that we was cool. You came to my event. You supported me. Cool. The first thing was the dentist thing and the group message. And me and you, I guess, don't have that type of relationship where you would like, get the fuck out of here. Right, right. And I was like, he ain't never talked to me like that. Wait, what's going on? And I didn't know what y'all had because me and him have never discussed you. Mm -hmm. So I was totally left field. And I was also doing things that I always do. Like, I always message in the group. I'll send a picture. Or if we talk it, I'll update on what's going on. Like, he was like, who going out? And I was like, oh, my, my dude in town, my homeboy in town. I'm trying to listen to Lon D and what he's saying, but I'm like, get to the point. Like, I really didn't have an issue. I know, I'm just feeling like this is just another concoction they have made up in their minds to come to me because I am the supreme ruler of everyone here, I guess. What I say goes here in Dallas. Then the event showed up, I came in, it was pitch black. I had on shade, and when I started speaking to everybody, it seemed as if you were cold and like you didn't want to speak. Your head was down, you was in your phone, kind of like, right, I was right. like, okay, I'm okay. not gonna speak then because it looks like you don't want to speak to me or that energy is closed off. And I just wanted to know, cause okay. ain't no beef. Yes, 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 no. I think if there is no beef, I, I felt like, I may have misinterpreted it, like you know, like I said before, and I apologize about it because I know how sometimes past experience, maybe it was just triggering for me. This group can be very like messy, toxic. I had an issue with Dennis on my on a live, and then you pop up with him, and I was like, "This is a coincidence. This is a setup, bitch. I'm about to be sent for." It. And so, judge of little things. I felt like when you walk in the room, you say hi, and I felt like you were 
specific with who you were saying hi to, and I feel like you didn't bother to say hi to me. I have said that you interject in a lot of things. <laughs> I don't interject myself in anybody's business. I don't know where you get that from. They usually invite me. Maybe you need my help. Maybe interjecting when Astro had a problem with Dre and you were trying to figure out the situation with why Astro was doing whatever he was doing, why he was questioning Dre or why he wasn't giving him the benefit of the doubt. Oh no, because he said that he was he was a part of a fight and he said that I can't get past Right, right. Fighting, but you were fighting too, so that's a double standard. With yeah, you. you're in the same. I, I agree You're with you in that, that you moment. Can. I definitely agree with you so, in that moment. Yeah, so. that, that's that's what it was. Like, I don't think I interject. I think that I'm just gonna say what's right, what's wrong. Like, somebody is not gonna just be like, oh, I'm not gonna do this, and I was in here doing this, or even with the Tedley thing. Like, I feel like in the beginning what i was introduced is people he was getting bullied and i heard it was like an alliance thing going I, on yeah that's what i'm trying to not get into yeah, see, but i just feel I like it's not an alliance but i feel like alliance. sometimes we take up from the people that we are closer to and maybe i don't know maybe you're not just that close to me because i feel like you kind of shifting i don't even know it's a shifting toward robbers well, so I, I didn't even say it's a side but i'm just saying like so happened, childish. i felt like i was like i felt like it was you talking to robbers and you know, you like X down. I'm in the doghouse. No, 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 no. I don't like having like outstanding yeah. even with Robert. I'm like so confused yeah. behind the situation. So, look, y'all, it is raining. I want this drink. It's the weekend. This conversation so long winded. Let's get to the point so we can go taste this wine. I think that you're an amazing person. Um, you know, in this group together trying to build stuff. So I do apologize my wrongdoing. And my apologies too. So, um, cause I definitely, I had a part in that. So I will always say that I had a part in it because I definitely fed off that energy and was like, and then the moment I could have been like, hey, what's up? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. what's up? I, I want to speak to you, what is that? So, because we always greet each other. We always do, so yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry again. See you, look. Okay, right. thank you. <laughs> See you. Absolutely. Come on, y'all, let's go ahead. All right. Okay, okay. They're ready for us. Even after all that, I feel like we on the same page, maybe, but I still got to keep my eye on you. You put the swirl it up. <laughs> that one not great. Initially, it's, it just tastes like blood. Disgusting. This wine is horrible. Y'all know I'm not a wine drinker, and I'm like, this is not really, you know, soothing. It was very thick, like blood. So I'm like, we're not vampires. So just give me to like a Moscato, something very light, fresh, like me. Thank y'all for coming out with me. I hope this little wine tasting experience been good. And I'm glad y'all was able to, you know, mend the fence. Yes, yes. okay, so, we friends. We always been friends. Yes. Yeah, so let's cheers to this. Cheers. Overall, the place looks amazing. The wine is iffy, but you know, everybody has a different taste. So some people might like them, some people might not, but I think this would be the perfect place for me to host my website lunch. And I think everyone would really love the venue and the setup that this place has to offer. Okay. Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, that was the one. Hey Dallas, it's me, your favorite game master, Mr. West. Who's ready for Dallas game night? So join me Saturday, April 29th at 7.30 p.m. If you were there last year, you already know what it's given. But this year will be bigger budget, better venue, different games, open bar, and me, Mr. West. Tickets go on sale today. You get it in the first three days, you get the early bird special. So again, that's Saturday, April 29th, 7.30 p.m. Buy a ticket for yourself, your mom, your partner, your favorite cousin, maybe even your enemy. All right, see y'all there. Tomorrow is the last thing on our minds. We're living for...
my second annual toy drive and I'm excited because for one, I get to do it in my house that I worked hard for and no matter what, if I get to bless one family, that's like a blessing to me because of where I came from. So I'm excited about it. So Robert invited me to his toy drive event. So I brought a couple of toys for the kids and I brought one adult toy. Hopefully Robert can put that to use. So I decided to bring a little adult toy for Robert. I have to my friend and showed him pictures of Robert because you know when I first saw him, tattoos, like like I said, tsunami in my penny. So I wanted to see somebody else to see it for my eyes, for their eyes, and so I invited him over and see if maybe Robert is into him. Hi. 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 Hey, how are you? How are you? What's up? You look good. Toys over there. Over where? Toys over there. I you. I'm big. I think you. No, 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 you're fine. You're fine. To be honest, I'm just, I'm just one of our. Even if one toy only walk in this door, and I'm able to bless one child or one family with that toy, a nigga is happy. How are you feeling? I haven't seen in a minute. What's oh, new? So mentally, how how are you feeling? How are you feeling mentally? I know you, a lot of things been going on. God, mentally, I'm just so dry. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you're I'm smiling. So you're, you're, yeah. you look like you know. Yeah, for the most part, you know, um, I did this last year, so I wanted, and I was able to bless a lot of families last that's year. So what's up? What's up? You good? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. So is everyone coming? Um, yeah, um, I think it's uh, Dior is coming, um, Kiki is coming, um, Yay. Telly is out of town, I believe he said. It was his birthday. birthday. Yeah, he was yeah, doing birthday. something. Um, you know what I talked to? Second boyfriend, so I know. I, you know, I know. He got about 30 of them. <laughs> yeah. I thought y'all had something going on. You, you, you. I, 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 yeah. Because oh, no, so no, you no. the one that thought it. We was wondering. No, but listen, I have proof or like why I thought that. Because when we was at Kiki's ball, uh, I was going, I was leaving the the, the little area, uh, and Lon, I mean, uh, Telly was outside saying, "Oh, I'm waiting for uh, Londi to come drop me home and stuff like that." I'm like, "Oh." Oh, that's uh, not the play on what was saying. No, I haven't brought it up yet. Yeah, but he had brought it up. No, I brought it up. You said that Kiki is it. Yes. It had already been said, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh, it was... Wait, what was that? No, what you talking about? I, I in was regards saying to, that him no, and Tedley have something going on. This video shoot, right? And Tedley? Yeah. 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 Because, yeah. Because, yeah. Kiki because was like, you know, my content yeah. people one and one together, like, oh, maybe they got yeah. something right. going on. I was surprised when Jet was like, um, his version of what he's seen from me and Tedley. Um, I guess to him it seems like I'm courting him, I'm walking him to the car, he sees us talking in corners but that's my homie why can't that just be my homie i ain't think for that though i think that i do know that y'all had a rela like a friendship oh, to really? her, like a brunchship but i didn't think they had like i didn't think that was like, so y'all are just close like that that's my homie okay i don't know I, I i feel it that there's still something going on maybe not now but i feel like they had something going on in the past because they're just a little too close but maybe i'm wrong but lonnie don't got no underwear i didn't notice that I think he was getting bullied a little bit, and I was trying to stick up for him. Then. Oh, at the um, performance uh, night too. The night, the night, before, the performance well, night. Also, see, well, no, he was not getting bullied at the performance. He was starting shit. I am learning that now that there he do be start chatting and yeah. doing stuff. Yeah, and that's what he needs to be quiet and hide or yeah. just be chilling. Because like I told you at his video shoot, if you would have came to the um, performance, the um, Astro event, he would have put you in something. Because if this young man would have hit him and you jumped in on him like that, that would have well, everybody we relationship. Are, we already had. Yeah, we already, yeah, that's what's up. Okay, but I'm just saying, I'm speaking on situations right. that he'll put you in and you not, you just protecting him. Telly, I feel like is a cool person, bro. He actually a vibe fam, but that nigga be putting itself in situations that shit ain't got shit to do with him. And you know you don't fight, my nigga. You like the suit. And a lot of people don't give a fuck about suing, fam. That's gonna take time, nigga. You know how many times a nigga can beat your ass in the process of you suing them, nigga? That's gonna be months down the line, like, you know, down there, nigga. That's like a lot of ass whoopings for him in the process. Why, it's just us three. Don't say nothing. Okay. I want y'all three to accompany me in the studio. I want to show you something that has come to mind. I want to show people what a diss is. I ain't oh. been part of this shit. A diss? I, I just want to, y'all want you to hear these Oh, you just want to hear it. Okay. This is an actual diss record. Oh my God. Oh my God. DeAndre, I want no parts. Bro, for one fam, I ain't no rapper. 
Ain't nobody did no diss track about me. They did one about you, fam. You acting like Master Splinter trying to put me in this shit. Like, calm down, fam. Like, I'm gonna show people how you actually record. Oh! Lord, this guess. wasn't a diss record, though. That's why I wanted to stay clear. This is not a diss record. It was so confusing. It's a not. A lot of people saying it was. Exactly. A lot of people. Well, I'm gonna make this. This is 100% a diss record. Well, I want to come and hear it. Be, I have no I'll be there. Nobody. It's, just, it's fun like, shade. Yeah. Fun shade. Talk about fashion vlogs and, you know, missing cars and teats and rings and houses. Damn, it's nigga, I'm missing teeth. You talk about me? <laughs> I, talking about you. I know you looking at the nigga and, like, I ain't got sides, nigga. You talk about me, nigga. Say it with your chest, my nigga. Like you, I don't see you rumble, nigga. But huh, huh, this ain't the rumble you want, fam. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Hello. Thank you for coming. Thank Rain and me. stuff. You got your toys. Yeah. I appreciate that. That's the main thing. So, Kiki has been chasing, but her chasing has not just been Dallas, maybe it's been St. Louis, LA, Cal you know, California is LA. Just going everywhere. And now I'm finally here being able to come back and seeing um, Robert Ray at his Christmas event. Your hair, I love your hair. Oh, you do? Know, thank you. You know, I really feel like some type of like prep school girl. Definitely. The blunt cut. Y'all ever watch How to Get Away with Murder? Yes. yes. I feel like the black girl Annalise. there. Oh, yeah. And, not Annalise. Oh, no. but the student. The student. The student. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Kayla Prattman. Yes. 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 That's my girl. Or even. Oh, um, she had that gay fiance? Yeah. She, she did. Fabulous. A beard. All right, <laughs> no. No shame. I'm just talking about being a beard. What do you think? You yeah. thought about doing it? Yeah, it's gonna be easy. To be paid and to not really have sex and to be able to act is something that I'm good at. I might as well be paid for it. Being a beard is not really hard. Sometimes these girls be beards for men and they don't even know. They be wondering why they man be gone all night and they don't even be realizing that they be beards. So I might as well get paid for it at that point. Where's your gift? Hmm? Where's your gift? Uh, on the elevator. No, your gift. Shut the fuck up. Because I see the blunt right here, but your gift. Yes. I don't see your gift. That because the session was. That, it's done. That, stop the his name, is Adrian. That is not my gift. That is your gift. You tell him that was my gift. What, what? what gift? What gift? Adrian. The gift you brought. You say you had oh, to bring yeah, everybody the a gift. Oh yeah, the gift is back there. Little gift. So you did. He really did. Say that. He said it. I, I thought she was. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that go your gift. Nice to meet you. Adrian, apparently you was my gift. Oh, that's a cute little gift. That's a good gift, girl. That's a cute little gift. This event is for the kids and, you know, for us, the black families. J. Jim said he brought a toy for me. Mind you, I didn't get it at first. I'm like, hey, you know, this is for the kids. Put it up there under the tree. But my boy Lil D tell me, nah, he brought... You know, yeah, whatever for you. I'm like, uh, you know, that's the one from the video shoot. You know, okay. Uh, let me see what's up. But hey, oh, you know, a nigga be a little shy, so I, I, I don't know. You know, I was just chilling on it, but I was looking. <laughs> Thing I know in Spanish, it's the shit I learned at McDonald's when I was City. working. City, fab. Uh, let me see. Una mas por That means one uh, that moment. Mean, yeah, no, that means yeah. One more, one more, please. Oh, one more. Uh, oh, City. See. <laughs> yeah, okay, y'all losing me. I can't have a conversation with it. If we ain't talking about something that's on the McDonald's line. Okay, that's it. it. Now, Jay. This is a toy drive. I understand you brought a boy toy, but this is a kid-friendly event. I do not know why you thought that was gonna be a good thing, but hey, if he don't have them, somebody else will. So go ahead, Jet. Father God, we come to you today just saying thank you. Thank you for the moments that we are getting to have in life, you know. Um, days are numbered and um, like I, I just lost my cousin and I just lost some, my brother and people in my life. So we just have to be thankful for being able to um, come together and enjoy each other and laugh and talk and just, you know, make memories. We thank you for the gifts, Father God, and the families that we're going to bless with this um, opportunity, Father, because like, you know, you know our struggles, you know what we go through, you know the families that are in need, you know the, the people that can bless and you set it up in ways, Father God, so that 
it works out, Father, and we just want to come together and say thank you. We ask that you bless this food, Father, for the nourishment of our body, Father God. We ask that you bless the hands that prepared this meal, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's just say grace. Let's eat. And let's go play some games because, uh, yeah, I ain't ready for this. Pretty sure that you came, I see. Right. This is it, make up for last year. <laughs> Today is the uh, toy drive, but I had got some disturbing news earlier this day from my niece about her father. So I had to make a quick trip somewhere, and which kind of put me behind time to making it on time to the toy drive. But I made it there with the attire I was supposed to have on and the toys I was supposed to bring. I appreciate everybody for coming, you know, especially in the rain uh, because it was, you know, it's crazy. And I know if I was going to an event, probably I still probably, you know, say, uh, come if it's for something like, you know, mm -hmm. a toy drive. What the main purpose that we're here for right. is to bless some families that may be in need or just maybe not even stay in need, just be a blessing to um, families that could possibly use these toys. So I appreciate everybody that brought a toy. First and foremost, um, and and even the people that came that are coming tomorrow that caused you know to, I get it it was raining or whatever. But with that being said, I genuinely appreciate y'all. Y'all are gonna be able to bless a family, you know, um, that is and, and just you know I, uh, I, I'm not gonna say her name, but um, one of the families that we blessed last year. Mm -hmm. um, is actually doing a lot better this year and she is coming to drop off toys to bless another family. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. yeah. So that meant that made me feel real, that real good awesome. with it, you know, because earlier when I woke up today I wasn't just feeling it. I'm a real nigga. I wasn't feeling it. I don't wanna be around nobody. You know, y'all y'all not told y'all. You know right. what I'm saying? I don't real, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't wanna be around nobody. I didn't wanna, you know, it was just like, uh but just the thought of being a blessing to somebody else kind of yeah. put me in a mood to be like, and then my best friend, you know, he kind of was like, nigga, shake out of this yeah. shit. You got shit to do, you know. But like he was decorated. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to my best friend, Tony. You know what I'm saying? That's my Aww. nigga, you know. But, um, but, however, these are our blessings to somebody else. I'm going to pray over the toys before I give them to the families, you know what I'm saying? Because I believe in prayer. I believe in Jesus. I believe in, you know, doing my shit, you know, with guys, you know me. Hello. But, Hi. um, yeah, we good. Yes, Hi, guys. We gonna play this game, let's have some fun, you know, y'all right. drinking, smoking. So we feel the vibe, eat, play games, and I get a knock at the door, and it's Dior. I ain't gonna lie, bro, like, a part of me was like, okay, Dior came. Like, I'm actually excited, like, I'm happy my brother came to my toy drive, no cap, I really am. And he brought toys, it was a vibe, it was good to get that feeling again, but like I said, it's still conversations that we needed to have, so shit, I was actually glad my big bro came to the event, fam, like real nigga shit, he showed love. Cheers to blessing the kids, y'all. Yes, each one to each one. Woo! Please. Welcome, hoes, what I'm doing. Dreamer. Yeah, we Next time on Chasing Dallas. Oh, you look good. Thank you. So you. I do need to say it though, you need to work on your replying back. I you know. know. I'm the worst texter. <laughs> Listen, so I supposed to be, I did it. I'm supposed to be in Houston that weekend. Yeah, we're gonna be there. We're gonna be there for that weekend. You know, I'm in it. You know, I'm a, I got an enemy. The girl with the eyebrows and a new man every other day. Yeah, I'm so excited for my website lunch. Oh, Everyone's invited? Well, I don't know yet. Well, it depends on the show. From Dallas to Georgia, we eating them. Yeah, Trigic, one love. thing was forgotten, this bitch is a baddie. I crush anything that I'm on. Wow. Bitch a little baddie, 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 bitch a little baddie.